How's it going, guys? So I literally just bought the Gigcaster 5 uh, today. And as I was doing my unboxing and first impression, um, I realized <clears throat> one of the button is is not working properly. I feel like this is like half-baked. They just shipped the product out without actually properly integrate the sound pad um, <coughs> into the mixer. Uh, so I went to their website. I went to Boss website and they do have a super new update, firmware update coming out called version 1.04. And the version I have on the Gigcaster, which I literally bought that released last week is, let's check, <clears throat> version 1.03, okay? So right here. So we're gonna update the firmware and I'm gonna show you guys how, which is, which should be pretty easy. So first thing first, you're gonna go to their website, download the newest firmware, okay? And you're just gonna save it somewhere. And I'm gonna make a new folder and let's just save it here, okay? And the most important thing during this update is the continuously tell you, uh, it's a two part process <coughs> and, <coughs> and you cannot rename the files. So whatever file you get, um, extract them and never rename them, okay? So I'm gonna extract, let's see. Once you use extract, uh, this is the first and this is the second. It's a two-part process. So let's see. And obviously, um, I have to unzip it again. So it's like three unzips. It's kind of funny. Um, all right. So let's go to the folder. So you have to unzip the first part and unzip the the second part. Let's see what's in here. All right. So those are the updates. And now <clears throat> you need to have a USB-C cable ready, connected to your computer. And we're gonna have the mixer go into firmware update mode. Okay, so all you're gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the power now, press for three seconds. Yes. <coughs> Once it's in power off mode, you're gonna press, let's see what it says. Uh, you're gonna hold down the sound and press the power button. And let's see, and it should tells you that it's connecting um, the, for the updater, okay? So basically this is the firmware update mode. Uh, you're gonna connect the USB cable and I heard a sound. And it opens up this, this new uh, drive, okay? This is the update, firmware update drive. All, you, all you're gonna do is actually drop those two folders in here. Oh, oh, that sucks. Okay, um, it's a very, so this <clears throat> mixer have a very small, BIOS firmware storage space. It looks like I have to do the first part first. All right, guys, so to properly install the firmware again, as they said, it's a two-step process. You need to extract the files in here directly to the Gigcaster 5's folder right here and you don't drag the folder, you actually drag the files, okay? So what happened to me when I realized it didn't work is I dragged the whole folder, but in all honesty, all you need to drag are those files. Once you finish that, I believe if I exit, uh, first, of course, we're gonna eject. <clears throat> and when we exit, it should be able to um, update the first part of the firmware, okay? So we hit effects and it's gonna update the first part. <coughs> and once we finish with the first part, we come back and update the second part. So I'm glad I figured out this issue. You don't need, you don't drag the entire folder, you drag those files directly into the mixer. The first, the first file, the file from the first folder first, and then the file from the second folder because its internal storage is not enough to hold both of those files, okay? 
So uh, I'm glad we figured this out. And after the update, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you guys um, whether we successfully updated the firmware or not. So the first part update is complete. Once it's complete, you just turn off the power by pressing the power button and uh, you hear it disconnected. So we're gonna come back to the, we're gonna exit those firmware update files. Let's see, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to the second part. Again, the important thing is you don't drag the whole folder into that drive. You drag what's in here into the drive uh, when you connect the Gigcaster 5 in firmware update mode. Okay, that's the most important part. So we're gonna do it again. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually hit the sound and hit the power with the USB already connected. And as you can see, the ink instantly connected to my PC and opened up this drive, ready to draw, drop the files here. So we're gonna drop both of those files the, from the second part in here. And we're going to now exit everything and we're gonna disconnect the USB drive so the firmware can update on the actual Gigcaster 5. <clears throat> and uh, um, let's hit exit. And ask me if I want to update the, the remaining part. I'm gonna hit yes. And it's gonna update. And the, this part, you can disconnect the USB drive. It's not gonna do anything. And again, it's gonna update the, the, the second part. I'm gonna come back and let's confirm whether the firmware update is successful or not. All right, it looks like the update just finished for the second part as well. Let's turn off the power, turn it back on, and we're gonna double check to make sure that it's actually um, successfully updated to firmware 1.04, which according to them, uh, increased uh, the stability of the device and also um, made it compatible with the so-called Gigcast 5 app on your PC or Mac. So that's what we're looking after. Let's go to the manual, double check into general. And yes, so firmware is successfully updated. And uh, that's it for this video. Um, the trick, most important thing for update is make sure you only drag the first part of the file, not the whole folder into the Gigcaster storage device. And once you finish with the first part update, then come back, do the same thing for the second part and update. Uh, the whole process should take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions about the Gigcaster 5 firmware update, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this, this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And I will have a review of this device come out very soon. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Take care.